Hello world, welcome back to Subway 23's Thought Experiment. And uh, this is going to be episode 7 of the uh, Scale and Rot uh, tutorial series. Uh, this is going to be a quick one. Um, uh, yesterday, when I was putting all these, I was doing all these tutorials, I decided to go ahead and just knock out a whole bunch in one day. Uh, generally, by the time I get it uploaded, it's I finished uh, recording it 15 minutes before. I, I, I edit them and then upload them, and editing them doesn't take much time. Um, my point being, I was doing it for a long time yesterday, and I think I kind of lost my mind for a little while. Um, <clears throat> so, um, when you talk about casing, um, I may have mentioned it before early on, but case is important. Um, generally, variables are what we call Pascal case, which means... Here, where you see selector color, here should technically be, oops, selector color. Um, that's camel case. Um, camel case means that the first letter of the first word is lowercase, and all the other uh, words will be uppercase. Then we have Pascal case, which is uppercase, uppercase. Um, Generally, variables are always going to be um, camel case. So, we are going to do a quick renaming. Unfortunately, Microsoft makes it really easy here. So, selector, oops, color. Got to remember the words here. Selector, color. And it's just going to change everywhere we need it to change. Uh, handle scale. And so on and so on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these off screen and we'll move on to the next part. All right, so I've got all of that not taken care of. We've got all of our variables uh, set at, at a camel case. And while I'm here and doing this, I want to change one thing. So, in, here in our create endpoints method, um, we use the term cube. Uh, which isn't actually relative anymore because that's that's changing based on what they're using. So we're going to rename this something more generic. Um, you know what? We're just going to go G object. And that way, when reading the code, people won't be confused by the term cube and delete that stuff and that part's done one more important element and we've tackled a little bit of it but um, is commenting uh, quite often when programming other people need to be able to read your code and know what's going on fortunately C sharp is the kind of language where you can kind of look at the code and, and if you know somewhat about the system you're going to be able to read what's going on but it can't hurt because quite often you're going to be working uh, with all different types of people and different skill levels, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so commenting is fairly important in that case. So uh, I'm going to say create object. We'll say handle object. You know what, as a matter of fact, we're going to do that there. First, we need to get the object type. We'll 
for the manager. And we're going to create. Then we will destroy the collider. Eventually, we're going to have to put that collider back um, because we're going to be, have to be able to select these objects to scale them. But for now, this is fine. Um, then we want to get H scale from the manager. Set the scale. Set the position. And set the parent. And one last, or well, two more actually. <clears throat> set the tag. Set the material. <coughs> okay. All right. So now I've gone through and changed all of my added comments to everything. Uh, mostly everything. But, um, I'm not gonna go through every everything I added. I just wanted to let you see what yeah what this stuff generally looks like. And um, when I upload it to the uh, HCSB um, spot that I have on GitHub, you can look at it there. But um, <coughs> that's gonna be it for this one. This was a quick one, like I said. Um, comment camel case see y'all in the next one Bye.